Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading by the Blessings Foundry. Today's reading will be a general read to see what message of spirit has for you at the time you view this video. If you're new to this channel, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for your support. Spirit, please connect with the Pisces viewers and subscribers of this channel, their guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, and higher self and high vibrational energy to get the message of Pisces needs. Six of Wands coming out, success, recognition, somebody putting you on a pedestal, achieving your goals. And please connect with Pisces, higher self, and high vibrational energy to get the messages Pisces needs for their soul's journey. Let's see what messages we get for you today, Pisces. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces today, please? What message do you have for Pisces today? So we have the Temperance, card of Sagittarius, but also blending together of opposites to come together into one alchemy, tapping into your crown chakra, regaining balance and healing in your life. What other messages do you have for Pisces at the time they view this, please, Spirit? What other messages do you have for Pisces at the time they view this video, please? Thank you. Okay, hold on one second. Let me get these together. So then we have the Nine of Pentacles. So perhaps doing the healing work, maybe even to your finances or, you know, just self-empowering yourself and coming into that place where you're comfortable and in a um, solid position. Let's see what else. And we have the Three of Swords. So the first thing that came to me when I saw this is after you've experienced this heartache. You know, you're really putting in the work and being diligent to get yourself through. Yes, absolutely. To this place of um, security and material mastery. Any other guidance and advice? Some of you are going are work, focused on your work and career right now as well. Any other guidance and advice for Pisces for this reading, please, Spirit? Any other guidance and advice for... Thank you. And we have two more cards. Then we have... The Wheel of Fortune, so, you know, this is definitely seeing that there's a change coming or that the work you have been doing is, in fact, making a change here. And then we have the King of Swords, so here we have the King of Pentacles, which is masculine earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but also speaks to working to manifest great wealth, working to manifest security and stability, and then we have the King of Swords, which represents masculine air energy, Libra, air, or I stand corrected, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. And this also represents that as you've gone through this process that we see here to do the healing work in order to become self-reliant and overcome this heartache, you've really been putting in the work to regain your stability and move towards your truth and towards what you know and what you claim as rightfully yours. This is also representing that your words carry weight and that you may very well have um, words that impact somebody as well. So let's go ahead and get clarification for these. Um, also, you could be dealing with a, um, like we were saying, a masculine independent of gender, masculine Virgo Taurus Capricorn, or a masculine Libra Gemini or Aquarius. Um, and the temperance card is a card of Sagittarius. And both the Eight of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles is Earth Energy and the Three of Swords is Air Energy. So let's continue. Spirit, please come near and clarify this message for Pisces today. What do you want Pisces to know about this Temperance card? What do you want Pisces to know about this Temperance card? Some of you, because of a heartache or difficulty you have had or are going through, you're really working on something and you may very well need um, some type of support here as well. This might be a doctor, a lawyer, an attorney, some, a counselor. Um, take that as it resonates to you. Spirit, what is this temperance card? What is this temperance card, please, Spirit? What do you want Pisces to know about this temperance card? What do you want Pisces to know about this temperance card? Spirit, please come near and be clear. What do you want Pisces to know about this temperance card? What is this temperance card for? Thank you. So you may very well even be getting some news that helps you to move forward um, in, that helps you to move forward and heal. One more card to clarify this temperance card. Absolutely, move forward and heal. Absolutely, Pisces. So here, 
with this temperance, this is your healing and your rebalancing, gaining, I'm hearing, <clears throat> gaining restoration after some type of trauma. And we do, in fact, see that Three of Swords. And here it seems as though some message is going to come forward to help you move towards this healing after a difficult situation. Now let's get this Nine of Pentacles. Sipping, sipping on the coffee today. And what is this Nine of Pentacles for Pisces, please, Spirit? What do you want Pisces to know about this Nine of Pentacles? What is this Nine of Pentacles, please, Spirit? Thank you. Yep, we have the Hangman, which is needing to have that new perspective, but also letting go. And I know yesterday's reading, there was a lot of mentioning about letting go. Um... And I understand some people are in the mindset of, I've let go of everything. What else is there to let go of? You know, and, and I totally feel your pain. I believe me, I've let go of so much in my life, but I'm also, um, my, I'm a life path nine. I'm a double Pisces. I mean, so maybe in your chart, your chart indicates that you have a lot of letting go in this incarnation as well. I don't know your individual story. However, here, you know, look at this as also, you know, after you do the healing work, you're able to let go because you've come to a new perspective. You've effectively raised your vibration to this. See how yellow this card is and see how yellow it is around the hangman's head. This is like you have that new clarity to which you move forward, healed and balanced and restored, or you're in the process of doing so. And you're standing on your own two feet, but in a different way than you have done before. So let's continue. What is this Three of Swords for Pisces, please, Spirit? What do you want Pisces to know about this Three of Swords? It's like you move differently now. Like you've been through this Three of Swords. And, and you're in the process of almost, I, I want to almost say, like not reinventing yourself, but reestablishing yourself as a stronger, wiser, higher vibrational version of yourself. What is this Three of Swords? Please, Spirit, what do you want Pisces to know about this Three of Swords? What do you want Pisces to know about this Three of Swords? Please, please come here, Spirit. Okay. So here, this is interesting because we have water energy and air energy. And here was this Three of Swords. We see the pain. We see the difficulty. We see the, the, the slicing up of your heart space right but i'm drawn to the fact that there's rain behind the cloud rain behind the heart that's coming through to wash it away and we see the knight of cups and the king of cups here and the knight of cups is an emotional change the knights are all about change and movement and and progression here and we we do in fact see an emotional change and here with the knight of cups this is now the third night we have in this reading so a lot of masculine energy again independent of gender but here we see the knight of cups which represents masculine pisces cancer scorpio so i'm feeling as though this is your energy and definitely representing that you are doing this healing you are coming into your own and reinventing yourself reestablishing yourself and moving forward in a much more emotionally mature emotionally much more emotionally mature way where you have instead of now instead of letting your emotions rule you you are ruling your emotions and choosing where you're going to invest your energy and what you will put your time and effort into. What is this Eight of Pentacles for Pisces, please? What is this Eight of Pentacles for Pisces? And we have the Five of Swords. Absolutely, you know, this Five of Swords is all about that arguments, about that energy that is invested where nobody wins and there's no return on that investment of energy. And here, just as we were seeing with the Three of Swords, as you're making the emotional change to come into the mastery of choice of where you're going to invest your emotions in this Five of Swords of having fruitless battles, of having ego-driven battles, of engaging in people's situations and things that are going to steal your focus, steal your energy, and effectively steal your life from you is over. You're, you're focused on your coin. You're focused on what's going to bring you return on investment now. And then we go into this King of Pentacles, which is speaking directly to that return on investment. The King of Pentacles does not make for, um, uh, stupid investments, right? Like the King of Pentacles 
really weighs out the efforts they're putting in and what they will get. And they are the master of wealth creation, the master builder here. What is this King of Pentacles, please, Spirit? What is this? And the King of Pentacles here is staring directly at this wheel. This King of Pentacles is, you know what? I'm, I'm bossing up, B. Like, I'm totally going to boss up. It's time. This wheel, that... That bee is mine. I'm turning that wheel. I'm making this change. What is this King of Pentacles for Pisces? What do you want Pisces to know about this King of Pentacles? Okay. So for the King of Pentacles, we're getting, look at this change. Boom. You can't even make it up. Making that change. No longer accepting crappy offers or burdens. So, you know, the, this King of Pentacles here is all about making this wheel change in their favor. It's all about moving onward and upward. Forget the days where you wasted your energy on fruitless things that had no return on investment, that you know were in and out energy, were unfulfilling and overall just a burden to you. The King of Pentacles is looking away. He is not even acknowledging this anymore because it's no longer allowed in the King of Pentacles energy. No longer allowed in your energy, Pisces. You're bossing up here. What is this wheel of fortune, please, Spirit? What is this wheel of fortune for Pisces? What do you want Pisces to know about this wheel of fortune, please? What is this wheel of fortune for Pisces, please? Thank you. Oh my, can't, again, can't even make this crap up. Look at this, the wheel of fortune. The King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is bossing up like a mofo here. It's like, you're going for it. Like you're bossing up Pisces. You're making change in your life because you, you no longer are satisfied with where you've been. And for some of you, this is actually, you know, speaking to circumstances where you're going to have healing. You're going to have transformation. There's going to be something, you know, going on that helps you to move forward here. One more card for this Wheel of Fortune, please, Spirit. One more card for this Wheel of Fortune, please. Okay, hold on one second. One more card for this Wheel of Fortune for Pisces, please. Please show Pisces clearly this Wheel of Fortune. Hold on, guys. One more card for this Wheel of Fortune. Any other cards for this Wheel of Fortune, please, Spirit? Yep, absolutely. Because here, Pisces, you're wiser to the people who would interfere with your stability. You're wiser to the people who would interfere on you getting returns for the work you've put in. So now you're using the lessons and the stability you have gained over the time of your life of experience to move this wheel forward. Let's continue. And Spirit, what is this King of Swords for Pisces? I know that's kind of off screen here. Hold on one second. My thing's off screen. There we go. <laughs> All right, we'll just move the whole thing over. Let's see. All right, and Spirit, what do you want Pisces to know about this King of Swords? What is this King of Swords for Pisces, please? What do you want Pisces to know about this King of Swords, please? Yeah, so here, this, could, this King of Swords could definitely be an... A, an attorney who's going to negotiate for you or help you fight your battles. Um, it can also be that you're cutting out any type of argument and chaos. One more card for this King of Swords, please. Hold on. We do have the sun. I'm going to pull one more card. Bear with me here. One more card for this King of Swords, please. Thank you. And, and this is so beautiful, Pisces. Hold on, let me get these organized so I can show you. All right, so here, Pisces, we have the king of... Really? Hold on, okay. Might as well just get some coffee then. All right, let's go, Pisces. So here we have the king of swords. The king of swords comes in and cuts, uses that knife to cut off this bullcrap. This bullcrap that's coming in sees the truth and says, you know, Pisces, you've been dealing with some bull crap here. We're going to come and cut it out. We see the truth. We have the sun here. We have this cleansing that's going to come in and it's going to, you know, purify the situation and really right the wrongs here. And if we look at this, we start off the reading by having the temperance and we end the reading by having the temperance, which is re restoration 
of the damage that has been done, regaining balance, regaining harmony in your life, and really getting to that point where you're able to clear and cleanse out, you know, whatever this is that has been, I mean, I'm really kind of hearing plaguing your life or causing you this difficulty, you know, this, this chaos, this in and out energy, the things that are unfulfilling, the things that are burdens that really are not in alignment with your truth here. And we see that you are ultimately overcoming the heartache, overcoming the difficulty of the past because you realize that you really are just bossing up just, just by the very nature of who you are, staying in that mindset or dwelling on what has occurred just no longer is a match for you. And you are on to a new, bigger, and better situation for yourself. Spirit, one card for the overall message of this reading for Pisces. One card for the overall message of this reading for Pisces, please, Spirit. Okay, hold on one second. I had to get it. Okay. So here, Pisces, we have intuition. And as always, Pisces, you know, you, you know, or you should know by now if you've been watching these, that, you know, you are very intuitive. So here, Spirit's indicating, please, Pisces, listen to your intuition. If, if you... If you're being benevolent or ambivalent regarding your intuition and allowing yourself to be stuck in a mindset that um, you know isn't really comfortable for you, I mean, you know, face your intuition here and, you know, boss up with that as well. You know, there's many ways to boss up Pisces. You can boss up mentally, you can boss up emotionally, you know, just bossing up in your life here overall is what we're seeing as a product of having gone through some really crappy crap. Spirit, and I know that's very articulate, you know, going through the crappy crap, we'll just use our, our high proper English today. All right, Spirit, one Akashic Record card for this reading, please. One Akashic Record card for this. Okay, we have a few. And we're getting the King of Kings or the King of Keys, which is the King of Pentacles again, the treasure. So this is, in this card, it's very notable that the room is kind of destroyed and ramshackled. Somebody went through and took the treasure, but the person needs to turn around here and see that not all is lost and they actually have, you know, they still have a beautiful glowing treasure. It's just if they're going to, you know, realize the beauty and opportunity they still have in their life after a very difficult time. And it's interesting here, Pisces, that, you know, we have this light shining out of this box that says, you know, Pisces, you might have had all this crap happen to you, but, but look at the beauty you still have. Look at the opportunity. Look at the treasure you still have and the wealth you still have in your life. And the King of Pentacles, which we have three times now, is about wealth. It's about prosperity. It's about reaping wonderful abundance into your life. And then we have the light of the world. So this is saying, you know, spirit, divine, intuition, take it as it resonates, is literally knocking on your door, Pisces, you know, and open up the door and let it in. You know, allow the abundance to flow, allow the creativity to flow, allow the, you know, shift in your soul's path to occur so you can you know, go through this healing, go through this emotional change and mastery and release and, and really evolve and boss up. This is the message I have for you today, Pisces. I hope it helps. God bless.